Greetings one and all, and welcome to a very special this. <laughs> we'll come up with a name for these little uh, blog entries later. Now, I got a really good question a couple of weeks ago about how I sort of maintain enthusiasm for a project. Um, it was asked, you know, if I'm doing an army or something that I'm not really feeling at any given point, then how do you sort of get back on the, on the wagon and uh, maintain that that energy for painting something or, or putting stuff together, whatever it is. There's some really good advice out there on YouTube. A lot of um, other channels are doing things like build blogs, um, you know, the, the how-to guides and stuff like that, people talking about building their armies. Now, in particular, one that springs to mind is if I link this up here, or maybe it'll show up up here. <laughs> Now there is a channel here on YouTube called The Wargamer, and they've done a build log where they did um, the 3rd Infantry Division for bolt action, Monty's Ironsides. And starting from the beginning, like the inception of the project, right through to painting and collecting and looking at army lists and stuff like that, and how you could actually play it. And I thought that was pretty interesting, because even me, who's been at this for a while, you know, I like to see where people get their their juice, that that love, that momentum, you know? Now for me, where it normally comes from, and I, I thoroughly recommend, if you have access to a regular gaming group, that's the best way. <laughs> if you're lucky enough, um, play a bunch of games. You know, you'll always want to add the next thing to your army. Or you'll find the weak point and think, ah, I can chuck a unit in there that'll help me with that. And I think being attached to that kind of, not need as much as just interest, you're always thinking about this, this force that you're putting together. Now that's not always possible. And I find that a way that works really well for me is to always be looking into the army. So researching or reading or even like playing video games that are related to what I'm doing. You know, you, you want your mind in the space that is occupied by, I think this is really cool. Um, now in particular, if you are doing a historical army, this can be a really interesting way of getting a lot of research done. Uh, for me, I really love getting open the books and finding out about stuff that I might not have covered otherwise. An example of this is recently I started looking into the Italian campaign in World War II because it's, it's a large gap in my knowledge. And through that, I found some really awesome resources online, uh, interviews with veterans, um, and it was it was really eye opening. And for me to be filling that in, that was a big deal. That was really interesting to me, and it helped in a big way to maintain that enthusiasm. Now, same too, if you're playing, you know, you've got a computer where you're playing a bunch of games, Total War games, for example, whether it's historical or Warhammer. Um, Dawn of War still, you know, anything that sort of keeps you in that headspace. To go back briefly, and to mention that build blog, um, I'm actually quite keen on giving that a shot. I think that would be kind of cool. And I want to do something that I haven't done in a big way before. So I could throw together a Space Marine Army and it would take me a week. Like I've done a thousand point Marine Army in a week before, but I want to do something new. I think that's going to really help. So what I'm looking at doing is a build series of my own where I go through building the basics of an army, how I then paint it, where I get the idea for sort of the character behind the army and, and so forth. And it'll be more of a sort of a, a diary for me as much as for you guys where you'll sort of be following along where these ideas come from. And I'll talk about where the, where the juice <laughs> is involved each step of the way. Now to do that, I've got three potential options. Um, I have a truly ridiculous collection of stuff that I've bought at some point and then not done anything with. So that's, <laughs> that's another good piece of motivation, uh, is get some of these boxes out of the, uh, out of the cabinets behind me and um, see what I can do about actually turning them into armies. So, like I said, three choices. Let's take a look. Now the first one I've got here is Spire of Dawn. This is one of the 
million or so starter sets that are available for Age of Sigma. It's actually just a reboxing of the old Island of Blood, uh, which was the previous edition of Warhammer Fantasy. And Island of Blood was amazing because it got so many toys in it. Now, I'm a big fan of the Skaven. I love that really grungy steampunk aesthetic they've got going. So that would be what I'd be doing out of this box. I've also got some other, you know, bits and pieces, a doom wheel, some, some storm fiends and so forth. So a lot of it would be clearing the backlog and getting into one of these big boxes and having some fun. So Skaven are on the list. High elves. I'm not a big fan of elves. Pointy-eared, bloody, uh, fragile and skinny and... No, no. Unless there happened to be overwhelming demand where people are like, no, Troy, you should, you should do the, the, the elves and learn about the elves and maybe then I would be forced into it. I, I'm not saying that that is what you should do. Please don't force me towards that direction. But Skaven, Skaven is the one on the list, okay? That's where I want to go from that box. So second on the list would be Orcs. Um, I love these big green idiots. They are one of the most fun things about 40k to me. Um, they're good guys. You know, they don't understand the concept of good and evil. They just want to get out into the galaxy and beat the ever-loving crap out of anything that stands in their way. I think that's really fun. Um, again, I've got a ton of stuff that can go with this. This is one of the old battle forces. Um, frankly, I love Orcs. This would be an ideal thing. You might want to see me do something different. Uh, but again, putting that out there as an option. Okay, Orcs. Then third, talking about the Italian campaign, I've got here one of the starter armies for bolt action. This is the British starter army, and in here is a ton of infantry, a tank, you know, everything I'd need to get started with, uh, with the British army. Now, I'd be doing them as New Zealanders because... I can't not do them as New Zealanders. You know? <laughs> um, any game that lets me play as the Kiwis, I will invariably flock to, and I just can't help myself. Got to, got to rep the local talent. Okay. Um, the one downside with this is that I wouldn't be able to use the uh, the Cromwell tank that comes in the box because the New Zealand armor divisions, to my knowledge, weren't issued with Cromwells. But that's okay because instead. I can swap that in for a Firefly or something, but we'll we'll get to that. This one interests me for the research opportunities. Um, like I mentioned, just getting into the Italian campaign, I think it would be kind of cool to have an excuse to, to go to town and learn about the personalities involved and uh, learn about the campaign. So that's where that interest comes from. So there you have it, guys. Um, talking a little bit about inspiration and how I maintain that energy. Um, a lot of it comes to, to dealing with you guys, um, you know, answering questions and sort of seeing that interest reflected in others who want to see something new. That'd be kind of cool. So those three options, again, just for, just for summary, Skaven, Orcs, or British Army, so New Zealanders, Commonwealth Forces. So anything that you'd want to see along the way, you'd be able to jump in with suggestions, um, ask any questions, just be, just sort of follow along as I do something new. And I think that'd be kind of cool. I think you guys will hopefully get something out of it. Um, I know that for sure I will. So get in touch. You can drop comments down there in the, uh, the old YouTube box or get in touch through Facebook or Twitter. Both of those are linked down there too. As ever guys, thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day.